in Colorado first at five, and we are with Colorado workers impacted by the government shutdown when they were in a deal is now in place to get them back to work. President announced the deal this afternoon. Now, after the Senate approved it, Colorado Republican Senator Cory Gardner said it's time to get back to work for the American people, and Democratic Senator Michael Bennett called on the president to share how workers are going to be compensated. Now, this deal does not include funding for that border wall. If we don't get a fair deal from Congress, the government will either shut down on February 15th again, or I will use the powers afforded to me under the laws and the Constitution of the United States to address this emergency. Rick Sounder joins us now to talk more about this. And Rick, temporary or not, the announcement, great news and a big relief for many families. Including a couple we visited with today, Karen, both work for the EPA. Coincidentally, they were meeting with Democratic Representative Diana DeGette when the news hit. Today will be the day that you all miss your second paycheck. The Congresswoman wanted to hear how the government shutdown had affected government employees. Kayleen and Matt Costelli both work for the EPA. I know personal friends who have had to skip medical appointments for their children. Others told of colleagues with depression, agencies including air traffic controllers suffering from fatigue. And pictures were shown of America the not-so-beautiful, national parks in disgrace. Then when they finish, we jumped in. Uh, I just got word that President Trump is expected to back a plan to reopen the government and will make an announcement this afternoon. I hope that's Within true. Okay, good. Well, that must be because we're at that round table here. <laughs> <laughs> Matt and Kayleen rushed home to see the news. I am very proud to announce today that we have reached a deal. We disobeyed the message on their mugs in order to ask their reactions. It is troubling that it's only for three weeks, and I worry what happens when that appropriation runs out. I think that we'll happily go back to work, but probably, you know, plan for the worst and hope for the best. They are looking forward to getting back pay and back to work on Monday at least until February 15th. Live downtown, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First. Thank you, Rick.